Hi there, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM and this month's guest programmer. In late January, we asked members of our exclusive fan site, the TCM Backlot, to submit videos of themselves introducing a classic film of their choice. Their prize? A chance to sit down with me for a night and select a few of their favorite movies from the TCM vault. Second prize? Two nights with me. We had roughly 100 submissions. Choosing a winner was not easy, but in the end, we picked a good one. Umberto Martinez, our first TCM Backlot guest programmer. Umberto, welcome. Thank you. It's great to be here, Ben. It's good to have you. Umberto's first film is the movie he introduced in his video submission. It's the 1957 musical Pal Joey. So I was looking at the movies that, that you picked uh, tonight. You picked uh, Pal Joey, and we'll have uh, both uh, Bye Bye Birdie uh, coming up later and the Eddie Duchin story. All three of these movies are directed by George Sidney. And I thought, oh, I, uh, Umberto is this huge George Sidney fan. But you're going to tell me that's a coincidence. It is a coincidence. Um, in fact, we were asked to send in 10 choices. And uh, I picked uh, at random the movies, the musicals that I enjoyed the most. I didn't realize that we were dealing with the same director uh, for all of them, which is terrific. You know, besides these three, you know, Viva Las Vegas, Showboat, Anchors Away, fantastic musicals. Well, he wasn't the director of all ten of your choices. Was no. He? Okay, that would that would be that no. would be too, that would no, be too strange. Not. But uh, the three we settled on all George Sidney films. Uh, so, uh, what what about uh, Pal Joey uh, struck you? Well, Pal Joey has uh, probably three of my favorite stars. Uh, Sinatra is my number one man for for song. Mm -hmm. Then Kim Novak, who I had the pleasure and great honor of meeting in the last DCM cruise. Fantastic lady, you know, her movies, uh, you know, not even the non-musicals of Vertigo, terrific film. But uh, even though she is not considered a musical star, she's just a terrific, terrific actress. Frida Hayworth, you know, what can I say, classic musical star. And uh, all three came together into this film, which I used to actually project on 16 millimeter from a 16 millimeter original IB Tech print. So I fell in love with it. So when you say used to project it, because you've turned your house into something of a well, a movie it all, what it is all that? started. It all started uh, in college. I was a part-time projectionist for um, a company that ran all of the movie entertainment for the hotels in Miami Beach. So I had I was in charge of showing movies to the guests at the Eden Rock, at the Fountain Blue, etc. And uh, they, I was actually given the equipment, and I traveled in my VW Bug to every hotel, set up the screen, the projector, the speaker, and on with the show. So I saw these movies hundreds of times. I was also the sort of like the caretaker of the prints. Uh, on Saturdays, I would go in, repair any broken splices, clean up any dirt lines. Uh, so that's how I got into the hobby. And now you do it from your home? Now I do it at home, of course, mostly now digital. Who, who comes over? Um, everybody, neighbors, some family, my students. Because uh, you teach radiology. I teach radiology at the UM Miller School of Medicine. So you're, you're an associate professor of radiology at University of Miami Correct. Medical School. that's my job. Yeah. Uh, any particular performance that uh, stands out to you in this? They're all fantastic, my favorite. I know what your favorite is. The lady is a trap. Yeah, come on. <laughs> and it's because it's like the, uh, it's the Nelson Riddle's arrangement and it's like the definitive performance of The Lady is a Tramp, which you get to see in this movie. All right. Yeah. All right, well, let's take a look at it. From 1957, starring Rita Hayworth, Frank Sinatra, and Kim Novak, billed in that order from director George Sidney. Here's pal Joey. 